Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about describing the set of integers and identify real life situations that make use of it. To understand the topic, let's explore. Your mother gives you 1,000 pesos as your allowance. You want to buy a new pair of shoes and a shirt. In the department store, the shoes cost 800 pesos and the shirt cost 300 pesos. Will your allowance be enough to buy your desired items? So, to know the answer, we're going to add the shoes cost and the shirt cost. So, 800 pesos plus 300 pesos is equal to 1,100 pesos. Therefore, your allowance is not enough to buy your desired items. What numbers represent your allowance and the expenses at the department store? Since your allowance is not enough to buy your desired items, knowing the total cost is 1,100 pesos, this means that you still need 100 pesos to buy your new pair of shoes and a shirt. In this case, your expenses is more than your allowance. This situation gives us the idea of negative numbers. Negative numbers have values less than zero. Positive numbers are the counting or natural numbers. Zero and positive numbers make up the set of whole numbers. Positive numbers together with zero and negative numbers are called integers. In the set of integers, your income is represented by a positive number while the expenses are represented by negative numbers. Real life situations can be represented by integers. For example, if a temperature reading is 30 degrees above zero, we say it is positive 30, and negative 30 if it is 30 degrees below zero. Another example is when you gain weight of 5 kilogram, which can be represented by positive 5. If you lose weight of 8 kilogram, it can be represented by negative 8. One way to represent integers is through a number line. Observe the number line. We start 0 at the center. To the right of 0, we have positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and so on. Or we can read this as 1, 2, 3, and 4. It is because positive numbers are the counting or natural numbers. To the left of 0, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. To the right of 0 are the positive integers, while to its left are the negative integers. These are the set of integers. We have negative integers, zero, and positive integers. Imagine folding the line at point zero. You will notice that one will fall at negative one, two at negative two, and three at negative three. They are called the mirror images or the opposites. Any integer has its opposite. The opposite of positive 9 is negative 9. The opposite of positive 10 is negative 10. Two integers are opposites if they are of the same distance from 0. To understand further about integers, let's study the following examples. Tell whether the following events indicates a negative or a positive number. 
Rose won the lottery and became a millionaire. Alright, this is a positive. Second, I dropped coins from my pocket while running and lost my money. Okay, this is negative. Carlo went up to the 12th floor of the bank building. Okay, this is positive. Next exercises. Tell an integer to represent its situation. Five steps upstairs. Alright, it is positive five. Gain eight points in your math grade. Very good. It is positive eight. Nine steps backward. Okay, the answer is negative nine. Next example. The temperature is 14 degrees Celsius below zero. Okay, the answer is negative 14. She spent 200 pesos for a dress. Okay, the answer is negative 200. The altitude is 105 meters above sea level. The answer is positive 105. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.